Now with a closer look at how drones are changing the way search and rescues are done. First responders are using them more and more to save lives. And ABC's Gio Benitez is live in the middle of Brandywine Creek in Wilmington, Delaware, where he's about to conduct a demonstration. Gio, you're up a creek this morning. Best of luck to you. Good morning. <laughs> That's right, Paula. Good morning to you. Listen, we here at ABC News always cover these wildfires, natural disasters, manhunts, and there's really one piece of technology that first responders keep telling us they're using to help save lives. And we're talking about drones. And I am live here in full gear because in just a moment, we are going to show you how they can help save lives. But first, take a look at this. This is a training exercise. Let's go. Simulating an active shooter scenario. Ah! Volunteers playing frightened school kids and teachers. The weapons? Paintball guns. And the first eyes inside? A drone clearing the hallway, then spotting the assailant. Suspect left. Suspect left. Triggering the takedown. Suspect down. They got him. The entire time that drone was watching what he was doing, that's how they knew where to go. The man behind the sticks, Officer Barry Moore of the Mansfield Police Department in North Texas. Before the drone goes through those doors, what's going through your mind? Uh, keep the officers that are coming in safe. Make sure that I can get eyes on the bad guy, the suspect, and make sure that they're not walking into something that's going to get them killed. Officer Moore, part of the drone task force that spotted this escaped convict back in 2015, hours before a search helicopter could arrive. <laughs> That unit, one of the more than 300 state and local agencies that have added drones to their arsenals. These aircraft deployable in just minutes, more agile and up to 400 times cheaper than using a helicopter for those eyes in the sky. They are also being used by firefighters outfitted with thermal imaging cameras. It's a better information and with better information comes better decisions. It's the next best thing since a fire hose. To show what it can do, I'm led into a fire training facility completely filled with smoke. Let's go. That's me on the right. With members of the Joshua Fire Department, I crouch down in the corner playing a trapped victim. From the outside, there's no way for rescuers to know if anyone's inside. But a quick view with that thermal, and there I am. High-tech firefighting, that's the way to do it. We're not done yet. Our final scenario, search and rescue. In June, a drone spotting these two lost Colorado hikers and their dog in just two hours. And in January, those thermal cameras striking again in South Carolina, finding these stranded kayakers at night in just 20 minutes. And as night falls here, I head into the woods so a drone can find me. The drone delivering a kind of lifeline, a radio with a glow stick attached for easy spotting. I have the walkie talkie. I'm not hurt. We will send a search team for you right now. Then something I never expected. They have a spotlight on a drone. This is the kind of spotlight you might expect from a helicopter. Wait, the camera say hi. <laughs> you found us. I can't believe it. And right here, right now in the Brandywine Creek, we're going to show you how a drone can help save a life. So take a look right now. We are with drone pilots from the Wilmington Police Department, and they are flying a life jacket out to me right now. In fact, just 10 days ago, they had a rescue right here. Uh, the water was over the rocks, and you can see right there all that debris. That's actually from a real flash flood. You can hear that powerful drone above me right now, and we're going to take this life jacket off. Here we go. I've got the life jacket. And now what this is going to do, it's going to give rescuers more time to actually get to me and save my life. You know, what's really incredible about this, more than 50 people have been saved with the help of a drone since 2013. Paula? More than 50. That's a stat that we like to hear. Things ended well for Geo. We're happy to report that as well. But that's a pretty incredible endorsement from that fire chief. That's the next best thing to a fire hose. Yeah, I mean, that's the way you use a drone. I thought Geo was going to hook himself up to the drone and was going to take him out of there. That's that's the next phase. That's of the, the next drones. phase. <laughs> but great use of drones right there. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.